Ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians built the Great Pyramid with such mind-blowing precision? Thousands of years before computers and laser levels. It's a story of genius, grit, and some seriously clever math. Let's dive in. First, how did they get the pyramid perfectly aligned with north, south, east, and west? They looked to the stars. One popular theory is that they used the North Star. But here's the catch. Due to the Earth's wobble, the North Star wasn't in the same position back then. So they likely tracked two other stars, Mizar and Kokab, as they rotated around the celestial pole. When these two stars formed a perfect vertical line in the sky, that line pointed directly to true north. By marking this moment, they established a flawless north-south baseline. Simple, yet incredibly accurate. With the alignment set, they had to create a massive, perfectly square base. How? Not with fancy equipment, but with ropes and basic geometry. They likely used a method similar to creating a Pythagorean triple, like a 3-4-5 right-angle triangle to ensure each corner was a perfect 90 degrees. They would stretch ropes, measure, and re-measure, inching closer to a perfect square. And they got it, the sides of the Great Pyramid are almost identical in length, with a difference of just a few inches over a span of 756 feet. That's a level of precision that would challenge builders, even today. But the genius didn't stop at the exterior. Inside, they built intricate chambers and passages. Take the so-called air shafts, or the drainage channels. They were constructed with a consistent, gentle slope, precise to the millimeter over long distances. This ensured that any rainwater or liquid would flow out perfectly, preventing water damage within the structure. Every single block, every single angle, was part of a grand, unified plan. This wasn't just a construction project. It was a masterclass in project management. Think about it. Coordinating thousands of workers, pouring millions of stones, and ensuring every piece fit perfectly. It was managed with the efficiency of a modern mega-project. Scholars believe that the planning phase alone took years, possibly even a decade, before a single stone was ever laid. They had to calculate the amount of stone needed, the manpower, the food supplies, everything. They created a detailed blueprint, not on paper, but in the minds and methods passed down through generations. So. The Great Pyramid wasn't built by magic. It was built by human ingenuity, a deep understanding of the world around them, and a relentless pursuit of perfection. It's a testament to what we can achieve with clever thinking, teamwork, and a little help from the stars. Thanks for watching.